So after you know what what we most people in Nigeria described as one of the worst bank robbery, daylight bank robberies, one of the greatest daylight bank robbery in the history of Nigeria, where armed robbers, as I have now learned, went to police station and killed so many people at the police station. It is in Uromi in Edo State and chased some policemen away. They went freely to five banks, namely UBA, Senate Bank, First Bank, Union Bank, and Fidelity Bank, and carted away billions of Naira. But luck ran out of them. You see, they, they, you know, they say every day is for the thief, one day is for the owner of the house. So, Biaja Youth were able to, Biaja Youth in uh, Edo State were able to block the easy road, which forced the robbers to abandon the bags of money and cars they used for the operation. The vehicles and cash have been recovered, and counting investigation is now ongoing in Ubiaja police station. Some arrests have also been made, and we can not do anything now but to, you know, congratulate those gallant youths that were able to block the road. But nothing could be done now to bring back to life, restore those who have already died. May God give their families the fortitude to bear the monumental loss. Every almost every daylight robbery in Nigeria goes with loss of lives and property. I saw the video, like some of you that have watched on this channel, how that these people had the effrontery, like in the broad daylight, they operated. For almost three hours, according to reports, and killed almost 22 people, killed some policemen. And in the video, in my last video, you saw how that some soldiers were even hiding. They have their gun, but they were hiding because these robbers came prepared. They have always been coming out prepared. Now, luck ran out of them. The billions of. If you watch the video, you would even be uh, wondering. What is in the mind and heart of these robbers? How that you know they were carrying the huge amount of money and the thing was so heavy on them, they were carrying it as if you know, like someone who went to buy some food stuff, maybe some yam, and the stuff the person bought, you know, was so it became so heavy, even a bag of cement. They were carrying it like people that you know went to the warehouse where cement is so to. You know, buy cement and they were offloading it from the trailer to their own personal vehicles. The money was heavy on them. These are people's hard earned money that robbers won't just want to take overnight. It's in no wickedness. That's why we keep praying every day that God should help us. Nigeria needs improvement. Some countries, in fact, not even some countries in Western world, even in our, you know, as some countries in you know in africa have cctv cameras where this book will be there are some countries country, countries like india like china germany or some of these european or american countries they don't even need to be chasing you around wherever you are the camera has already caught you these facial detection you know uh, devices they will catch you wherever you go if we have some of these things set up and not doing that nigeria does not have the money Nigeria has the money to set CCTV camera in every street. If uh, uh, you know uh, five banks are located in this room, it means that Romi is a city, the developed city. You don't get such number of banks in a city that is not developed. It could, it, 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 I mean, it, it could be fair for me to call that place Bank Road if five banks are in that place. But fortunately these robbers managed to carry out this horrible robbery and left with the money. If not that they used, decided to block the road. We, have, we would have been talking about lives that have been lost, a huge amount of money that have been lost. But money can only be immediate again, you can make the money again, but the lives that have been lost, what would we do to restore them? Nothing. I'm praying that all of them will be all caught. They cannot go free. 
they cannot go free. It cannot go free when they are caught. At least they should die by firing squad or by hanging. Then there's no point taking them to court. We see how you know these criminals are not behaving in court. Look at someone that kid in Umoren, the the Kwaibon State University graduate that was killed by a murderer. The young man is coming out to tell her that he's not guilty. Look at what her, you know. If you start taking them to court, they will hire a lawyer that will start painting it blue and black, you know, sugar coating the whole thing. That's why most time people prefer you know, military rule. You don't have that much time to waste it, in taking the person to court. The person will be dabbling with wars. If these people are today, Evans, the kidnapper, has been sentenced to life imprisonment. He is a kidnapper. Everyone knows that. The people he kidnapped came to testify against him. So why should he should, should he even be allowed to hire a lawyer? Why? What? What's, what's the need? What's what, what's for? You're a kidnapper and you're caught. You should face the full weight of the law. And him hiring a lawyer, his lawyer trying to, you know, you know, do his job or her job, I don't know whether it's a woman or a man. And him coming to tell us no guilt. Really? You have damaging evidence against you and you're saying you're not guilty. So kudos to the Ubiaja youth in the do state who were able to block the road and ensure that this huge amount of you know current notes that were carted away were arrested. And I'm praying that God will continue to frustrate the plan of robbers in this country. Those who are planning to go and rob a particular state, maybe no, it may not be a door, it could be some southeastern state, south south state, or not. God will continue to expose and they will be disgraced, they will be killed. Thank you guys.